Hey YouTube. Oof, that Brady chick here. And today is the last day of wearing my hair straight because frankly, I'm tired of it. <laughs> Let's just revert this ish back to what it was because I kind of miss my curls. I really do. Let me just get out this extra stuff. Okay. Yeah, my hair got really frizzy over the last few days because I was on a little cottage getaway as y'all probably have seen from my last video but yeah my hair has paid its dues it can't even sit right anymore not really it's just because I had it up and an updo but if I were to like wrap it around my head it would fall on my shoulders again I don't even want to go to bed with straight hair tonight I just want my curls back so yeah, we're gonna revert this ish back, okay? Okay, before we even get started, so Marla did give me some notes while she was doing my hair in regards to how to revert it back to its curls. So it says, wet with warm water until everything's soaking wet and squeeze the water in. And then I have to work in sections obviously, so I'm going to section my hair and clip it off. Use a moisture shampoo. I'm going to be using my detangling and conditioning shampoo from Cream of Nature. This one is really, really moisturizing. And use a moisture slash protein deep conditioner. And she recommended either using this one, which is the Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. So it looks like this. And it smells really, really good. Not that the smell matters, but I just want it to revert my curls back. Or we can also use the Shea Moisture's Moringa and Avocado Power Greens Reconstructor, which is also a moisture protein deep conditioner. Although I do trust the ability of both, I feel like I'm just going to use this one today simply because it says it repairs damage caused by overprocessing. Straightening is kind of a form of overprocessing the hair or over manipulating the hair. And in just one use of this intensive treatment, it helps to strengthen by reducing breakage up to 76%. Yeah, we're gonna need this one for today because I'm gonna need all the strength and reparative properties that this can give me. Okay, okay, that's basically it. So yeah, let's get to the shower. Split it down the middle. Although straight hair can kind of be a pain in terms of having to maintain it, it is very easy to part in comparison to natural hair. And we're gonna split this in half. Okay, and I'm gonna try to detangle it a little bit before I put it away. It's getting a little tougher because the texture is coming back slowly but surely, which is not a bad thing. Just makes it a little bit tougher to comb, that's all. Okay, we're gonna pin that away for now. Uh. See, the bottom half was always the easiest to comb, even when my hair is in its natural curly state. Just because it's a looser texture for some reason down there. We have everything covered, we're ready to hit the shower. Alrighty, so if you guys remember, the first step in terms of the shower process was to wet the hair with soaking warm water and really squeeze the water into the strands just so it can penetrate better. So the goal here is to pretty much bring your curls back to life, or at least halfway <laughs> there. But yeah, as you can see, I'm squeezing the water into my hair. And I don't know if you can tell, but the more I squeezed it in, the puffier my hair got, and the more my curls came out. Look it! Hold on, I have to check. Yes, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Reversion. All right, so now that our hair is soaking wet, the next step is to apply our moisture-based shampoo. So this is the Cream of Nature one that I mentioned before. It detangles while it cleanses, which is pretty awesome to me. I don't know about you. <laughs> but anyways, that is me shampooing it, then rinsing it, and then applying my deep conditioner here. So I just shampoo it and I go straight in with the deep conditioner, and then I move on to another section and shampoo it and then rinse it out. 
and then apply the DC again. So it's a little bit of a redundant process, but trust me when I say it is necessary for curly hair types. Okay. So this is just a close up of how some of the curls at the bottom of my hair have reverted. Remember that it's my loosest texture, so that's why it looks a little looser. So right after this, I applied deep conditioner to all the sections, pinned it away, and then applied my plastic cap and left it on for 10 to 15 minutes. So another semi-important thing to note here is that you should probably check the temperature of your water before you let it run down the strands of your hair, um, simply because if the water is too hot, you can risk drying out your hair. If the water is too cold, then it will pretty much seal in whatever products that you just put into your hair, even if it's shampoo. So be careful with that. You want to check the temperature first. So pretty much what I'm doing here is that I am just rinsing out the deep conditioner that was previously applied to my hair. Um, for this process, you can use cool water if you want to, simply because deep conditioners have a lot of good properties. Most of them are moisturizing properties. So if you want to leave that moisturizing product in your hair, then you can go ahead and use cool water to rinse it out. For me, I just like to use lukewarm water, so not too hot, not too cold, to rinse it out, just because it's more comfortable. Alright, so we pin up our hair again, and we're ready to style. And we're back! So, in case you are wondering, my hair definitely did revert back, and I'm so happy about that. Because honestly, that was my main concern, as I have expressed in one of my previous videos. Because it's a really scary thing to do something so risky and then lose all your results, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm really, really pleased that my hair did actually revert back. So I want to thank God. I want to thank the hairdressers. And I want to thank myself for uh, allowing me to have this experience. And now that I have experienced it, I'm good. I'm good until next year. I don't need to straighten my hair for another year. <laughs> I'm about to twist up my hair and leave it like that until December. <laughs> Just kidding, not really. So anyways, thought you guys might wanna get a little preview of how I actually moisturize my hair. I feel like I actually don't show you guys that enough. I don't know why. But anyways, I'm using the Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. Um, it's the one from their JBCO line, Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. As you can see there, ooh, that focus though. But yeah, that will be my base. So right now I believe I'm using that as my L in terms of the LCO method. And then I'm gonna follow with my As I Am Twist Defining Cream. So if you know me, you know that this is my holy grail. I don't know why, but it really, really defines my curls. It may not work for other people, but for some reason it works for me. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I use that as my C, so this is really my styling product in the whole LCO method. And now we're moving on to the O, so this is my oil in the LCO method, and this oil specifically is avocado oil. The reason I bought this is because, first of all, it's pretty inexpensive, and it came in a really tall bottle from the grocery store. <laughs> And um, I've noticed that when I have used fresh avocados in my hair um, sometime in the past, it really did moisturize and condition my hair. So I thought, why not just use the oil version of that then? You know, maybe I'll get the same benefits. So pretty much I'm just experimenting with avocado oil these days. Um, I don't find much of a difference with it, but it's also not creating any negative impact on my hair or anything. So I would definitely continue using it. I don't see anything wrong with it, but I also don't see much of a benefit from it. You know what I mean? Thanks again, guys, for watching. And always remember, natural hair grows. Don't you forget it. Bye.